What is up, Scorpio? Welcome to the second half of February 2020. Love and Soulmate readings from yours truly, Valkyrie Tarot. Fair warning for all of you guys. We are in Mercury retrograde. By the time you're watching this, I guarantee you, you are in Mercury retrograde for this cycle here. Um, I just want you guys to be aware, Mercury retrograde means a lot of electronic issues, a lot of other issues um, with things coming back from the past, and a lot of introspective type of energy. Sorry about that, my roommate was leaving. Uh, there's the lock. Um, Again, uh, Mercury retrograde, it's going to really be bringing up all the introspective energy. You're going to be thinking a lot, a lot of nostalgia. People might be coming back from your past, too. So just be prepared. As a fellow Scorpio uh, sun sign, please, please, please don't try and do anything of a major financial decision because sometimes it can backfire on all of us when we're doing them during Mercury retrograde, okay? Just putting that out there before we get started, all right? Okay, Scorps, what do you say we get to going? All right. You know, I just did Pisces and Cancer. So I'm finishing up the water signs here. And I got to tell you, Scorps, I am a Scorpio sun sign. And my highest watchers are Pisces and Cancer. Like over a thousand Pisces views last month or at the beginning of this month. And 800 Cancerian ones. You know what we had? Not that. I think we had like 200, which is totally cool. That's fine. That's a lot too. We got to get to working on this. Come on, Scorps. Where's your loyalty? Where's your loyalty? All right. <laughs> Second half of February. 15th to the 29th. Happy leap year. All right, let's go. Nothing's bouncing for us here. Oh, as I say it. Knight of Pentacles. In reverse, Virgo energy, not being able to make an offer or not wanting to make an offer of commitment. Well, Scorps, sounds like our problem, doesn't it? Oh, who was that? Oh, there's two of them. Nine of Wands. In reverse, no longer, want, no longer wanting to wait, no longer wanting to put the effort into it. And the Fool, in reverse, Aries energy, uh, not wanting to take a blind leap of faith, not wanting to start a new beginning. Holding back. Oh, Scorps. I hope you're not stuck in the energy I'm stuck in. I really want this to be for the <laughs> greater good. Now everything's jumping, huh? Oh, Nine of Wands. No talking. Hmm. So nothing's changing. <laughs> Fantastic. Feeling like you're left out in the cold? Me too. It is winter, though, where I live. So that might be part of it. One more shuffle. Still waiting. Still, still waiting on something. Who are you waiting on? We're going to find out. It's probably the one that you're thinking about. Again, this is for sun, rising, moon, and Venus. If you need to know what you are at, check out uh, birth chart. They're free online. Uh, if you want to know your other planetary alignments, check out the information below. Scorp, here we go. This is you. Ah, Seven of Pentacles. Waiting on a woman or a man. Trying to wait and see if the energy that you've put into this is going to come to fruition. Huh, where's that Knight of Pentacles? This time he's up in the upright, making an offer of stability moving forward. Slow, Pentacles are slow. Think of them as earth, okay? Um, plants need to be fostered. They need to, you know, give love. You need to water them. You need to take care of them in order for them to grow, okay? So this is a slow energy, but slow and steady wins the race. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't pop up unless they are ready to make a move. Virgo energy also, but could be any birth sign. Energy between the two of you is the Hierophant in reverse. Non-traditional type of energy. Hierophant is Taurus energy. So again, another earth sign. A lot of earth sign popping up here. Interesting. Maybe you have a lot of earth in your chart, Scorp, or your loved one is an earth sign. So when we see the hero font in reverse, we're seeing someone who uh, is challenging the norm, not going with the normal way of things, okay? This is someone who, instead of following traditional beliefs, this is someone who's like kind of walks to the beat of their own drummer, okay? 
right? They want independence. Challenge is the Three of Cups. Social gatherings could be a sign of forgiveness. Sometimes this is an apology card when it's in the upright. Can also mean third parties, but usually I only use that when it's in the reverse, okay? The challenge is the, the social aspect of this, though. Interesting. We'll figure it out. Uh, blockage is the Eight of Swords. Healing from a difficult time. Letting go of anxiety. Past situation currently influencing you is the Seven of Swords. Learning how to trust again. Okay. Past situation for your loved one is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone who is very fiery, has a bad temper, might have been a little insecure about how they looked. This is the red carpet queen. This is also Aries energy in general. All right, next card. This is the outcome for you. Yes, Scorpio. Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness, relationship fulfillment, family, love. Oh, Scorpionic energy. I love that. Give me all the cups, all the cups, baby. Your loved one's point of view is they are watching you and spying on you. Page of Swords, Gemini energy, little trickster over here. They're really trying to learn about you though. They're trying to pick up on your little eccentricities. They're trying to decide whether or not it's okay to make this offer over here. Overall outcome, Ten of Swords, the end of pain, the end of agony, being able to leave a painful past behind and move forward. Energy of the deck, there you go, Page of Pentacles, thinking about making an offer of stability moving forward. So I think the both of you are kind of in your head right now. You both want the same thing. You're both waiting. It's like you're waiting for this message. That's what it looks like. All right, what's the Seven of Pentacles over here? Get some confirmation. Well, we have the Magician in reverse. So feeling like you don't have what it takes, kind of doubting oneself. And then we have the Druid, or also known as the Hierophant over here, because you want a traditional situation. Scorpio, you're not a really traditional person, let's be honest. But when it comes to love, a lot of us are old-fashioned in a way. Like, we still expect loyalty and honesty and truth. And if we are giving our heart to someone, we expect that given back in return. You know, we, re we expect respect in a relationship. So that might be what we're talking about here. It could also mean that you're a very spiritual person too. Both the Magician and the Hierophant are very spiritual cards. So you might actually be a spiritual healer yourself um, or someone who really has faith in a religious type of um, upbringing. We got the Cage of Cups over here with the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so an apology might be on your loved one's mind, or maybe there was an apology and they're still trying to work through it. Sorry, you know me with my OCD, I need to keep my cards steady. So, what's this, is, what's this apology about? Page of Cups. <laughs> they're still stalking you, they're still watching you, they are just creeping you on social media or online, or they're watching. Hi, if you're watching this, hi. Hi, I'll show my face. Hi, nice to see you again. Text me. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, here a font. Two of swords, yeah. So there might have been a want for commitment in the past, but because you guys couldn't figure out how to do this in a traditional way, there was a blockage. One of It's like you both wanted to be together, but one person wanted commitment, the other person wasn't ready for commitment, and it caused a disconnect. Okay, so there was a stalemate here. All right, Ooh, that popped, yep. And you gotta learn how to work together with it though. Lots of threes, okay. There was a stalemate because you guys probably didn't know how to work together. Three of cups, oh God, the lovers, okay. All right, Gemini energy. So I think there's an apology coming for the two of you. Yep, there's going to be a choice whether to stay or to go. Um, yeah. There, there's going to be communication soon. There is an apology coming from one or both of you. Let's just say the swords. I'm telling you, man, I can't, I, I can't make it up. Two of cups. 
You see the uh, caduceus up there too? Healing, healing energy. Oh God, so the anxiety is over with. Two of Cups is soulmate energy. I mean, you guys are coming back together at some point, or at least you're gonna admit that there's still, there's still something here. Okay, Seven of Cups, sorry, Seven of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Swords in reverse. So something was said that was very hurtful. So they're being trustworthy there was like a, a, a lack of trust or a need to trust. And they might have said something. You might have said something rather. Scorp, you might have said something that was hurtful to the other person because you you had trust issues. What Scorpio doesn't. We all have trust issues at this point in time. You know, dating also, have you ever seen the meme where dating is like trying to find the least dented can in the, in the store? You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> you know, you just got to you probably said something that was hurtful to this other person and it hurt their their sense of pride over here with the queen of wands am i right oh i'm right five of swords feeling defeated feeling let down feeling disappointed all right what's this ten of cups over here ten of cups trying to find balance still okay so that ten of cups isn't going to happen until you find balance what do we need to balance here though we're talking about emotional balance. We're talking about relationship balance. You need to find balance and you need to make a commitment towards stability here. You need a commitment towards stability or else that balance isn't going to happen. Your loved one has to heal. They have to heal and move forward so that they can learn how to not um, be out in the cold anymore. Okay. So healing has to happen here. Your loved one needs to heal from this pain, whatever this was. And the five of shields in reverse, this is coming out of being out in the cold. So learning how to heal, learning how to heal again. Your loved one needs to heal, okay? I think they were hurt, they were hurting and something was going on and they didn't tell you probably. And then you went and opened your mouth, Scorpio, because we all know how we get, that stinger comes out when our ego is threatened. All right, so the 10 of swords, Confirmed with the Eight of Cups. Walking away from something that is no longer helpful is a better solution. No longer playing it close to the chest, being open, letting yourself be vulnerable, either you or the other person. And the Ten of Swords again, healing, moving forward, walking away from the pain. Queen of Cups, though, in reverse, this is someone who still has a little bit of emotional instability. Not sure whether or not the other person deserves their love or their affection. But if you give it, it's going to be your ultimate wish come true. All right. Energy underneath the deck is the seven of coins, too. That's you. This is the energy. So the way I'm reading that is, Scorp, you are manifesting this relationship. If you keep positive and you keep moving forward, you will get what you want. Okay. Get some energy here. Gonna get some energy. Three cards here for Scorpio, second half of February. It looks like you guys can both be really happy, but you're just gonna have to wait it out. Scorpio, you guys are impatient. Believe me, I know. Spirit of the Cross, burdenship, hardship, lessons. So somebody had to learn a lesson here. Lessons are never things that people wanna learn, but someone had to grow from this situation. Werewolf spirit, wild, untamed desire. So there's probably a lot of passion here. Also, werewolves become werewolves in the moonlight. So Cancer is a fellow water sign and they are highly impacted by moon energy. So there might be a, um, a Cancerian linked into you. Oh, then we've got the spirit of the lion, leader, recognition, and respect. So I think it's a confidence thing is what it's coming down to. Perhaps your loved one just doesn't have, didn't have the confidence to move forward. They didn't think they could give you what you wanted, Scorp, or vice versa. Um, but there is going to be a return of sorts. There is going to be an apology coming. You guys are gonna recognize that you are both, um, you know, connected here. And if you want to put the work in and you wanna wait, it might work out, but you gotta put the work in. Loved ones, message, karma is a bitch and I finally got mine. Oh, just for shits and giggles, let's do another one because I want to know what that's about. 
I still remember the good times you shared. Yeah, you're still on this person's mind. I mean, you're obviously still on their mind. You guys are lovers. You have the energy. You have all of this amazing energy between the two of you. But you just can't figure it out. All right, let's get three cards here from the Romance Angels. More information, guidance from above for Scorpio, second half of February. First card, playfulness. To recapture your, mo your romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. All right. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Oop, Scorps, that's probably for you because we have a very controlling way about us. We are fixed signs. We want it done and we want it done right. And this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner that you see. All right, so Scorp, here's, here's the thing. You love this person. You want to be with them. You've probably been romantically entwined with them at some point. Um, they are your be all end all. They are your ultimate happiness. But you got to let it go and you got to let it go. Let it go and let it God. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, you can't control everything, Scorp. This is something I had to learn very, very harshly, okay? There are things in this life, in this world, that you're not going to be able to control. Sure, control the things that you feel like you can, but when it comes to love, you can't control the other person. You can't control their emotions. You can't help how they feel about you. All you can help is how you feel about yourself, okay? So really take some time, think about it. If this is something you want, Plant your seed, keep watering it, keep growing it. Know that you do have what it takes to have an ultimate relationship the way that you want. This person is willing to do it. They're willing to go, but it's got it's gonna go slow. And it's gonna go slower than you want. But it can happen if you put your mind to it and your heart to it and you openly communicate. Because there is love here. This is a soulmate con a connection. There was a burden here somewhere at one point. But if you both respect each other and respect each other's boundaries and learn how to move forward, this can succeed. All right, Scorp, hopefully this resonated with some of you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe the hell out of this because we got to get our numbers up here. Represent my Scorpios, come on. That being said, if it didn't, hey, totally cool. I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Deuces.